My guest today is Ed Belfour, former Dallas Stars goaltender, Hockey Hall of Famer. And even though he and I both live in North Texas, we're actually in Louisville, Kentucky today. And I'm going to explain why in just a moment. But the first thing I wanted to ask you about was, was hockey. And the, the Dallas Stars made a big move this offseason where they brought back a guy that you know very well to coach the team. Tell us what your feelings were when you found out Ken Hitchcock was coming back to the Stars. I thought that was a great move. Uh, and um, I was real happy for Hitch. Um, you know, it was nice to see that uh, he didn't hang him up and, you know, uh, go out like that. Uh, you know, I was hoping uh, to see Hitch uh, win another cup maybe, and uh, it'd be phenomenal if he won another cup in Dallas. Uh, so I was real happy for Hitch and uh, happy for uh, the Dallas market too. I'm sure Stars fans would be very happy if Hitch did go ahead and win another cup. The what are the, what are the you've you've played for him? What are these players going to learn? What are they going to? Why is he going to be helpful to these young guys? These stars have. Well, I think uh, Hitch is always trying to evolve into a better coach. Uh, you know, he's been around for a long time, and and you don't stick around like like he has uh, by just sitting on your laurels. You know, he's always trying to better himself. Uh, I know uh, when I spoke to him after uh, he was let go by St. Louis. He already had a trip planned to go spend uh, some time with the Navy SEALs and uh, learn from those guys. So he's always trying to learn how to make himself better, and uh, both mentally and, and uh, you know, trying to be a better coach and uh, on and off the ice. And for, for uh, him, you know, I know he's always been, been like that, trying to, to be the best he can be. And, you know, I uh, commend him for that. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that he can come back to Dallas and you know, bring some of that magic back that uh, he had when we won the cup, and it'd be uh, it'd be a great thing to see uh, Hitch go out uh, winning another Stanley Cup. So the reason we're in Louisville, Kentucky today is because Ed has a business venture that he's working on with other members of his family, and they had some amazing sessions with an amazing team that he has put together. Tell us first of all the nature of what you guys were doing out here, and then what you got accomplished. Yeah, so uh, my son, Dane, and my daughter, Reagan, and I uh, started uh, the idea about four years ago to uh, do a distillery. So we've been working uh, the last four years on putting together uh, a distillery with uh, different uh, plans and different ideas. And <clears throat> there's a lot to uh, the regulation of uh, distilleries and alcohol in general. Uh, so. The team we've uh, assembled over the last uh, year and a half um, is a phenomenal team. They're first class. Uh, they're from the Louisville, Kentucky area where Dane and I went to uh, Moonshine University uh, last April. And we met a lot of the folks uh, in the area who have been in the business uh, for, I want to say, 20, 30 years. Uh, and then um, we met uh, Wayne Estopinol, who owns TEG Architect uh, firm here, who, where we're all assembled to, for our meetings the last two days about uh, you know the Belfour Spirits Distillery and Welcome Center, uh, possible uh, uh, wedding venue, and uh, possible supper club. So we've been uh, designing that, and um, we've learned a lot about uh, each other and what each uh, brings to the table. Uh, Peggy No Stevens uh, and Mary Stone, um, they're helping us out with uh, the experience and uh, the retail store and the branding. Uh, Randy Allender, he's an uh, expert in the uh, uh, distillery uh, production area, so he's the one designing uh, our whole production facility and, and how it flows in in our tour and because uh, that, that's a big part of what we'll be doing is uh, tours which start in the Welcome Center and uh, flows into the into the production area and uh, there's a lot to learn on, on a tour and a lot of fun. Uh, I did a few tours, uh, Dave and I, when we were here uh, in the spring and we got to enjoy Woodford Reserve and uh, Jim Beam and uh, Maker's Mark and learned a lot from those tours. So they're very helpful, very educational. Uh, we're just so happy that we could all be uh, here to, to, you know, bring the expertise to the table and uh, what the buildings are going to look like. Uh, Wayne's 
uh, staff here, I mean, they're just incredible. Uh, they do 3D versions and, and we'll be able to see what every, you know, hallway and wall and, you know, the lounge, what, what they're all going to look like even before we start building. So, uh, you know, it's been great. Uh, Don Rogers, uh, uh, you know, he's our financial planner and, and, and business planner. He's brought a lot to the table with, uh, you know, how much money we, we need and, you know, how the numbers uh, correlate with our sales and what we need to do to make this all happen. So, you know, it's been uh, very helpful. Uh, you know, it's just a, a great couple of days and uh, we're looking forward to breaking ground, hopefully late uh, sometime in 2019, uh, uh, early 2020 to have our grand opening. We're looking at breaking ground late 2018 still uh, or earlier, the earlier the better. But this, this has been a process of uh, perfection for sure. Well, and it's, it's been absolutely fascinating to watch the team that Ed has put together and how they have, have brought all of their different expertise, the architects drawing and the, you know, how much space do we need for the, for the distillation equipment, the, the events people explaining what sort of decor you need to entice the, uh, you know, a wedding to come there. It's been totally fascinating and, and really interesting to watch. And that distillery, of course, Belfour Spirits, is going to be in North Texas. So even though there's a lot of work being done here in Louisville, you guys will get to have the benefit. With Ed Belfour, for the Fort Worth Weekly, I'm Rush Olson.